Speaking of Minnesota, a doctor and state senator from Minnesota, Scott Jensen, joins us tonight on the 702 communication line to talk about an interesting piece you put in the Star Tribune recently as well. So I don't know if you like Dr. Jensen, Senator Jensen, but thank you so much for joining us tonight, sir. And let's start with this. Um, you and I communicated briefly yesterday via email, shortly on the phone. Have you yet seen the information that's going into these U of M models that the governor is using to make these decisions? No, we have not. Uh, we have asked for those, and we were told by the governor's office that we would receive the data tonight. Uh, and so we're hoping to see what the assumptions are and what the data is. Uh, but at this point in time, we have not. So I just want to be clear for our audience, sir. You've got a governor of a state that is making executive orders, stay-at-home orders that right now is cratering your economy. Uh, we don't know what data is being used, and yet you as a state senator, as a doctor, have not seen that data that's being used for our governor to make these decisions. No, we have not. And um, Does that, does that not concern you? I mean, shouldn't the people of Minnesota be screaming right now? Well, I think, you know, Minnesota nice. We want to, we want to be good soldiers in that. But I, I think that people are starting to say, hold it now. We need to have a deeper understanding of this, and we're not getting it. I think that, well, in Minnesota, as a physician, I received an email last week from the Department of Health coaching me on how to fill out death certificates. And I've never really received coaching from the vital statistics uh, agency in terms of how to do a death certificate. But basically, I felt like they were saying, you know, you don't have to have a confirmed laboratory test for COVID-19 in order to make the death certificate be COVID-19. So wait, 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 wait. Uh, sir, 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 I don't mean to interrupt you, but that and what you just said, I think is critically important. Can you repeat what you just said, please? Well, last Friday, I received a seven page document that sort of told me that if I had an 86 year old patient that had pneumonia, but was never tested for COVID-19, but sometime after she came down with pneumonia, we learned that she had been exposed to her son who had no symptoms but later on was identified with COVID-19, that it would be appropriate to diagnose on the death certificate COVID-19. Now, we've not done that. If someone has the pneumonia after, and, and it's in the middle of a flu epidemic, and I don't have a test on influenza, I don't diagnose influenza on the death certificate. I will say uh, this elderly patient Sir, died of pneumonia. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I, I, my heart is sinking right now as you're telling me this. You're, you're a doctor. Why in the world would they be sending you out information to fill out death certificates, whether the person's been diagnosed with COVID-19 or not, but then to say in the death certificate, this person's death was caused by COVID-19? That, that does not sound right to me. I went to the person in our office who does most of the death certificates over the last you know, 10, 20 years, and I said, does this sound right? I had her look at the documents that I printed off, and she said, well, we've always been told that you always put down just facts. You don't put down any probabilities. You don't put any presumptions down. It's just what you know. And so this is concerning, and, and it actually gets to your point, Chris. When we start talking about the data that goes into the modeling, we have to ask ourselves a question. Are we being forthright? Are we sharing with the public? Minnesota, North Dakota, we don't need to be having it sugar-coated. We want to know but, what's going into your modeling. So with that being said, why would they want to skew the number of deaths due to COVID-19? Well, fear is a great way to control people. And I worry about that. I worry that sometimes we're so darn interested in just jazzing up the fear factor that, you know, sometimes people's ability to think for themselves is paralyzed if they're frightened enough. And that's not where I want people to be. I want people to say, we're going to get through this. I'm going to use my head. I'm going to go to different sources. I'm going to listen to different sources. And I'm going to think for myself because that's what America is about. Um, Senator, if you don't mind, after this interview, if you can send me that seven-page document. And, and just for clarity, you were sent a seven-page document by who again? The Department of Health. Department of Health saying, hey, fill this out, whether they test positive for COVID, that, that is stunning, sir. So you don't have to have a confirmed laboratory test for COVID-19 in order to make the death certificate be COVID-19. That, that does not sound right to me. This is concerning. And Why would they want to skew the number of deaths due to COVID-19? Well, 
fear is a great way to control people. People's ability to think for themselves is paralyzed if they're frightened enough. I'm going to use my head. I'm going to go to different sources. I'm going to listen to different sources. And I'm going to think for myself.